Um, so I have a more generic question about research and development uh, centers in Central and Eastern Europe. Um, do you see any areas where you start specialized or you're kind of building a niche that those centers are becoming well known for, especially if you compare to other research development centers like in China or in India? Is there any specific area where you would say um, Central Eastern Europe excels in? From a Google perspective, I, I, I don't know if you guys will disagree with that, but I would say it's a little bit too early because, as you saw, the offices are not that old. Um, I don't know about other IT companies in, in those markets, but, but I could imagine that over time there, there might be right, some, some level of expertise that will be quite unique for that area. But, and it comes but I would with the ownership it. of the projects in that exactly. area yeah. first. Yeah. Yeah, and we believe that, you know, over time, that area of expertise might be in artificial intelligence, information retrieval, and stuff, you know, like that, with, which is directly related to mathematical foundations, that because, you know, in, in New Europe, people is well-educated in math, and they should capitalize on, on their skills. I am Piotr Monsage. I am the chairman of the U.S. Polish Trade Council, and I also spend my life partly at this uh, strange university that produced Google. And uh, my question might be first for, uh, for Nelson. I'm wondering whether there is a trend in change uh, in culture of the corporation. You are about 10 years old. You employ about 12,000 people or so. And so if you take the average, Averages are wrong, of course, but you take average is 1,200, and we are having here those distinguished gentlemen, physicists, mathematicians, and so on, and they are growing offices five per year, 10 per year, and they are saying they cannot find people with proper background. Well, I know that at Stanford, we graduate about 40 uh, people in mathematics and physics together a year, so we are not a uh, powerhouse in production of mathematicians and physicists, and yet you build company of several thousand people here in Silicon Valley. So what has changed, or what is different? Uh, well, I think that, that, well, as you saw with the, the, the growth rate, right, that Google is having, I think people would uh, understand that we cannot keep up with that growth rate purely focusing here in, in the Bay Area, number one. Number two, you saw the importance of having local talent in, in different markets because people in different places do have a different uh, basis, will have different focus, have a better understanding of the culture. Um, and we also believe that it is extremely beneficial to have the people local to better understand what are the needs of that market and potentially, you know that Google is a very bottoms up driven company. Nelson, I might have I might have been mis misunderstood. I am worried that they grow too slowly. I am not worried that you went there. I am worried why do they grow so slowly when they are winning, winning all those Olympics in mathematics, in physics, and all those things, and they grow at the rate of about 3% of what the growth was here at the beginning. What's the difference? Um, uh, I think uh, I, if you were to talk to other Googlers here, they will tell you that they're growing too fast. <laughs> Uh, so um, I think you will see um, coming from outside of the U.S. is very, very significant growth. But you can imagine that initially in every office you have to go slow because you need to build the, the, the leadership team that would allow you to scale. Um, if you look at Google history many years ago, Google would hire primarily people with masters and PhDs because they had to build that strong leadership that would allow you to expand. Um, and the same thing is going to be happening in, in the other offices. You need to build that leadership, which is harder to find. And, and then once you have that in place, it allows you to then start expanding very dramatically. Uh, and, and I think, ju just yeah. to finalize, I th and I think what you are, you are in the midst of seeing that, that big, big uh, explosion, big growth. Of course. Exactly. Yeah. 